Hello, grade 12 psychology class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson eight here, social learning part two, and we have some key points, modeling, observational learning, uh, and disinhibition. Let's go. So modeling is the second type of social learning after um, cognitive learning. Um, so when you go to a concert for the first time, as an example, uh, you might be hesitant about where to grow, where to go, uh, when to enter, how to get a better seat after the first uh, intermission, and so on. So at your first concert, you'll probably observe others and follow them. You will clap when they clap. You will cheer when they cheer. You will go where they go towards your seats, to go towards uh, concessions and stuff like that. This is um, this is illustrating the third type of learning here. Uh, there's classical conditioning, operant conditioning, and then modeling or social learning. Um, observation and imitation are one that we're going to talk about soon. So um, when you do something because other people are doing it, uh, that's modeling. And that's kind of like surface level, very simple, um, the, the, the original type. So in the simplest case, the first type of modeling, a behavior, the behavior of others simply increases the chance that we will do the same thing. We clap when others do. We look up a, at a building when everyone else looks up, uh, even if it's a terrible idea, uh, and copy the styles and verbal expressions of our friends. We laugh when they laugh. We cry when they cry. All those good things. We model behavior. Um, no learning really occurs in this case. Um, we're just performing a response. Um, that we might not otherwise use if those people weren't there. Uh, so it's not like we're connecting anything. We're just performing an action because other people are performing an action. Second type of modeling is called observational learning or imitating. So this would be what happened in the Bobo doll experiment where children actually watched um, an adult do something and then they imitated it later. They didn't just in, they didn't just do that behavior. Um, because other people were doing it at the same time. It wasn't a behavior that they already knew and that they're increasing because other people are doing it. They learned that behavior um, through observation and through imitation. So in this sort of learning, an observer watches someone perform a behavior and then later is able to reproduce it closely, although the observer uh, was unable to do this before observing the model. So the Bobo doll experiment the child observed the person and then the child then picked up the bobo doll, pushed on the ground and sat on it, hit it with a mallet, things that would, the child wouldn't do otherwise. An example is watching someone else do an unfamiliar dance step and afterward being able to do the dance step uh, yourself. So you watch it closely and then you imitate it. And in this case, unlike the last, you've actually learned something. Third type of modeling involves disinhibition, which is key point three. And when an observer watches someone else engage in a threatening activity or a bad activity without being punished, the observer may find it easier to engage in that behavior later. A famous um, example is that like lots of people swim in the Bellagio fountains in Las Vegas and uh, people do it because there's lots of examples of people not being punished for it or not being caught. So it's something that people are feeling that they're able to do, and that's called disinhibition. Their inhibition has been removed. Uh, an example might be someone with a snake phobia may watch another person handling a snake, and then that might alleviate the phobia. And then you might move on to actually having them handle a snake to help alleviate the phobia. But watching them do that risky behavior without uh, any punishment might help um, disinhibit the feeling that it might be uh, scary. We have some important terms and some modeling questions. It was a short one today, everyone, but I think we can all appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, again, as always, please let me know. But thanks for mu so much for watching and making it this far. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks.